This is Ned the Nerve. He might look a little funny, but he has a very important job to do in your body by helping your muscles move when you want them to. But sometimes your muscles don't move when you want because of a nerve injury or disease. One disease that can do that is Guillain-Barre syndrome. We just call it GBS for short. Maybe someone you know has been diagnosed with GBS, or maybe even yourself. If so, you probably want to know more about GBS and how it involves nerves like Ned. First, more about Ned's job. Nerve cells, or neurons, send and receive messages to and from your body using electrochemical impulses. The nerve cells involved in your peripheral nervous system, which controls the ability to feel and move, have extensions called axons that can be several feet long and are covered in a fatty coating called myelin. You can think of myelin like the insulation around an electric wire. It helps to speed transmission of messages along the nerves and make sure that the messages get to the right place at the right time. But with GBS, the myelin coating around the nerves is damaged and removed, which stops the nerves from delivering their messages properly. The first signs of GBS are often a weakness or tingling in your legs. Think about it. The nerves in your foot extend all the way up to your brain. There's a lot of places for a message to get lost. As GBS progresses, numbness and weakness usually spreads up your body, and in some serious cases, it can affect your breathing and facial muscles as well. Doctors will have to run a few tests to confirm if you have GBS, including a lumbar puncture and an EMG. Plasmapheresis and IVIG are often helpful to shorten the course of GBS and limit nerve damage. The acute phase of GBS typically varies in length from four to six weeks, with over 90% of patients moving into the rehabilitative phase within four weeks. You might be wondering how you got GBS in the first place. The truth is, doctors aren't 100% sure what causes GBS. But we do know that 60 to 80% of cases are preceded by some sort of bacterial or viral infection like the flu or food poisoning. Because of how GBS works, it isn't hereditary or contagious, so you don't need to worry about passing it on to your friends and family. Also, GBS has a very low mortality rate, and 95% of patients recover to varying degrees from it. The chances of getting GBS again are the same as getting GBS in the first place, about 1 in 100,000. Recovery from GBS may take 6 months to 2 years or even longer, and many patients continue to have long-term recurrences of fatigue and or exhaustion, as well as pain, numbness, and muscle aches. However, there is life after GBS, and the GBS CIDP Foundation International is committed to supporting you on your journey to recovery. The Foundation has information, support services, and educational community events to help you and your family adjust to your new life. Visit our website to get connected and learn more.